Hello to all you budding coders out there. I'm Professor Cody, and it's time to code a Fan Dabadozi game. The game is called Catch the Car, and you've guessed it, you need to catch a cold. Achoo! No coders, just kidding. It's a two car driving game where you need to catch the car to win. Remember, if you like making this game, give it a big Professor Cody thumbs up. Why don't you subscribe to this channel so that you'll be the first to hear about our new games videos? Now, Let's start by opening the Scratch game template in the link in the description below this video. Select C inside and you'll find the two car sprites that have been created to help you to complete the project. Make sure the blue car is selected and select the green flag block. Then what you have to do is go to X equals 7 and Y equals minus 155. Make sure the car is pointing in the right direction, so get pointing direction. Now, let's get a wait, 3 seconds. So at the beginning of the game it waits for a little bit. And then what we're going to do, is we're going to get a forever block. So let's go get that now. And inside that, we need to move by a certain amount. And we've got a variable called blue speed. So we put that in there. So get blue speed and put that in there, so we can change the speed by using the variable. Okay. What we need to do now is get an if block. And if it is touching the track, we need to make it move in certain directions. So let's change this color first of all. And we're going to choose color choose at all there. Okay, we've made that the color purple, so that when the blue track is touching the color purple, it will move in a certain direction. And it's going to turn 5 degrees. Now we get another one of these. This time the colour needs to be yellow. So let's go back here, choose the colour chooser, choose the other wheel this time. The track is the same colour, so that can stay blue. And we're moving in the other direction, so we need to turn the other direction this time, turning the other direction, and again it's still 5 degrees. So we leave that at 5 degrees, put that in there. And then if we start the cars off, you can see the car is moving, and when the purple touches the blue, it moves to the left, and when the yellow touches the blue, it moves slightly to the right. This keeps it on the track. Now let's get another green flag block. And we're going to play a sound engine now. So let's get a sound. Here, put that in there. Let's choose a forever block. And inside that we're going to set the blue speed to pick a random number. So basically we won't know what speed the car is travelling at. It can travel fast, it can travel slow very unpredictable. So let's get the pick random there. And we're going to choose begin with 1 to 7. We can change that later on. And then we want to wait 2 seconds. So it basically travels at that speed for 2 seconds. And then it will then choose a different speed and travel at that speed. So it will continually change its speed randomly. Let's press the green flag. There it goes. It's going slow, then it's going fast. Excellent. Now what we need to do is do the same for the red car, so let's drag that there and put it in there. By doing that, we have the same code now in the red car area, so we can move that so we can see it. But we need to make some changes. We need to change the position of the red car at the beginning. So let's change those numbers there, minus 9 and 153. It again points in direction, 90. And then we need the other speed this time, so we're going to choose the red speed. So we change the red speed there, so that basically it will move at a speed uh, using the variable red. And we put the red speed variable in there. But this time we put minus 1 and minus 7, because it's going in the other direction. We need to change the colours here, because the, the colours of the tyres of the red car are different. So we need to change that there. 
and we're going to choose the color chooser tool there and choose the green for the green tire there. So if the green tire hits the blue track, then it moves slightly to the left. And if the uh, red tire hits the blue track, it moves slightly to the right. And that keeps it on the track. There it goes. It's working fine. The blue car is going faster, the red car is going slower. But the blue car could catch up with the red car. Now we need to look at winning the game. So let's get the green flag block and we need a forever block there. And let's get an if block there. And if it is touching a certain color, which is the back of the car, so if the blue car touches the red car, the back of the red car, then the blue car has won. So we need to make that color there. Then we need to broadcast a new message, blue car win. So we'll type that message in there. So if it touches the red car, then the blue car's won. And we're going to play a sound, cheers sound. Put that in there. Excellent. Okay, let's just click and drag that into there. So the red car has got the same code, but it needs to be changed slightly again. So if it is touching the back of the blue car this time, so we need to find the back of the blue car, which is like a blue color. And then it's a different broadcast message. This time we're broadcasting red car wins. And click OK. Excellent. That's looking good. OK, now select the blue car. And choose when I receive blue car wins. We then just need to say what happens next. So first of all, we set the red speed to zero. And we set the blue speed to zero. So both of the cars will stop when we announce that the blue car has won. And we need a, a say there. So we're going to say blue car wins. So type that in there. Blue car wins. And then we need to stop all. So that's basically the end of the game because one car has beat the other car. So that's looking good. Now what we need to do is drag that to the red car and make a few changes to it. So go to the red car now, get the code, and we need to change it so that it says if red car wins this time, and red car wins there, and that's it. Now the track, we need to go to the track now. When blue car wins and when red car wins, we're going to say what happens in each particular case. We need to stop the other scripts in the sprite. Okay, that's looking good. Press the green flag. Now, why not try some of our challenges? They're really good. If you have completed the challenges or even made your own Fandabadozi game, put a link to the game in the comments below. Or if there's a game you'd like to learn how to code, again, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. Well, it's a great big arrivederci from Professor Cody. Until next time.